Hey, welcome back to the book of Malachi. Good morning. We're going to look at Malachi chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 now, as we're continuing working our way through the burden, the prophetic burden or oracle of Malachi. Let's read it. And now, O priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not take it to heart, to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have cursed them already, because you do not take it to heart. Now, there's something kind of interesting here about the book of Malachi. Every chapter talks about, it's got cursing in it. It's a curse, talks a lot about blessings and cursings here, which is that same kind of language we find back in Numbers and Deuteronomy, back in the earliest books in the Bible, that covenant language of blessings and cursings. We see some of that pieces right here. Now, notice he's directly addressing the priests. We've talked before about the fact that, in a sense, all believers are priests today. We're a priesthood of believers. So while in this book uh, he's addressing the Levitical priests particularly, we should, we should see it in that broader sense because we want to apply this correctly to our life. But we should see, is there any way that God's addressing me here, that he's rebuking me or trying to bring me up to a higher space? And now, O priest, this commandment is for you. So this is a commandment for us, right? Now he says, you need to listen to what I'm saying. You need to take it to heart. You need to glorify my name. If you don't do it, he says, I will send a curse upon you. So somebody might be bothered by this, but should we? Should we really be bothered by this? Jesus, after all, had, had nails driven through his, through his hands, his wrists for us, his feet. He was nailed to the cross to give us salvation. Is it too much to ask that we would give glory to his name? Is that too much to ask? How could it possibly be? So he just wants his priests to, to be on his team to call people up higher. That's what he wants. He says, if you don't do this, I will send a curse on you. I will curse your blessings. And he says, I've actually already done that. Why? Because you have not taken it to heart. So they weren't serious enough. They weren't committed enough. They weren't consecrated enough. And the question then comes back back across the ages, 2,000 and longer years, from, from, from Malachi to you and me. Am I committed enough? Am I consecrated to him enough? Am I really living to give glory to my name? Or am I sort of one of those Christians that's kind of walking through? And every now and then I, I think about God, and then I go on and think about every other which thing. I think about what's in the refrigerator. Am I... Am I is my God my belly? Is my, my electronic devices, my automobile? What am I serving? I should be serving God all the time. God should not be far from our heart and from our thoughts at any time. Who do we think of? Who is the one that we love? Who is the one that we want to copy and emulate? So instead of having our blessings be cursed, that let us take it to heart that God wants us in his service. He's calling you and me to be faithful servants. So let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, what days these are, what needs there are. There are people that need to be brought in like a harvest that needs to be brought into the kingdom and how few laborers there are. And Malachi is taking the task because you told him to. Malachi is taking the task some of your servants who weren't doing their job in the last centuries before you sent Jesus. Help us to be right. Help us so that our blessings are not cursed. And Lord, it's not too much to ask, not at all. Thank you for Jesus. We, we submit all to you, and we do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, may this prayer be true for us today. And may we help others come up higher. God be with you.